How do odds makers set the money line in hockey? Well, to do that, you need to know the probability of winning a game at a given point in time. And this colorful chart gives the answer. But how did we make it? Let's start with an empty chart and build it up. The first row represents the win probability when there's no time left. So that means it's zero if we're down, one if we're up, and 0.5 if we're tied. To calculate the win probability of a sell in the second row, we need to know the probability of us or our opponent scoring a goal. Let's say it's 10%. That means there's a 10% chance we score a goal and move to this cell, a 10% chance we get scored on and move to this cell, and an 80% chance neither of us scores and we move to this cell. If we multiply these probabilities by the win probability in the destination cell and add them together, this gives us our result. We can do the same process with every other cell in the second row and then the third row and continue until the entire chart is filled. But what happens if we change the probability of scoring, a 10% number? If we decrease the chance of scoring, then probabilities when we're down get very low, even at a one goal deficit, and vice versa when we're up. If we increase the chance of scoring, win probabilities get closer to 0.5 everywhere on the chart. But rather than just guessing, we can use statistics to determine a reasonable score probability. It turns out, historically, there's an average of 2.32 goals per game per team. Since there are 60 minutes in a game, that means an average of 0.04 goals per minute. If we fill in our chart one more time with 0.04 as our probability of scoring, we get our complete win probability chart.